Narsil. Narsil. this so welcome to another down the rabbit hole video and we're talking about my sword again i posted a video talking about this thing a couple of years ago and the interesting story of how it really is a sword of power um but it's always been flawed that it's um in pieces it's kind of broken it is the sword that is broken hence my little reference to narsil or narsil however it's pronounced uh, from Lord of the Rings earlier. Um, I'll put a link down below to the original video I did about my sword, but I actually received something recently that might finally put the pieces back for this guy, and that would be kind of nice. Although, now that I'm looking at my sword closely, I don't think so. Well, we'll soon find out. Uh, yeah, basically, when I moved about 10 years ago, um, the pummel at the top that goes on here uh, it, it's always been kind of loose. You can see it's actually just a screw, like a little, um, yeah, a little, a little threaded screw hole there. So basically the pummel just screwed on. This is a decorative sword. It's by no means actually going to do anything in battle. Um, and, uh, when I lost that, I just thought, well, no problem. I'll just head back out the door and, uh, I'll find the piece. And unfortunately, I got really busy, time passed, I forgot about it, went out to look months later, and I thought, even if that little pummel piece is around, it's going to be rotten, rusted to, to death. It's, it's gone, basically. And I never did find it again. So this has always been kind of my mystery sword that was broken. Just like, just like Aragorn. I am totally Aragorn, son of Arathorn from Lord of the Rings. But as I mentioned before, I, I'm the cool Viggo Mortensen one. I'm not, you know, the one from Ralph Bakshi with who always wears the short shorts. Anyway, uh, so yes, this is my sword, and it's always been my kind of personal narsil, narsil. So what is this thing that arrived in the mail? Well, I have been searching on eBay for sword pummels to see if I can replace this guy. And finally, somebody had one that is from this. Now, um, as I mentioned in my original video for this, uh, this is actually a Spanish sword. This is based on Tizona, which is the firebrand sword of power that El Cid used in history slash myth. And so this is um, a very specific type of sword. That's why it's got this weird swirly kind of uh, hilt here. And it's got some characters on the, uh, on the handle. But... The problem is, I, I was looking for a few, there are a few pummels on eBay that, you know, are round or weirdly Roman type ones and stuff, and I thought, well, eh, I'll keep an eye open, and definitely got to see if anything's going to fit that, that screw there. And then lo and behold, this showed up on eBay, this is the Tizona pummel. Um, it's very, very shiny brass, I don't think it's going to match this brass, but right now I'm more concerned about... Does it even fit on the screw? Because in researching getting a new pummel for this guy, I decided to find out, I went to Home Depot, decided to find out exactly what kind of a screw thread is that. And this is it. This is a 440. So if I take this nut off here, this seems to be an exact match for the screw uh, thread that's there because uh, the closest I can get, now I thought maybe it was metric, because this is made in Spain. What does it say there? Yeah, made in Spain. Um, I thought, would this be a metric screw? That makes more sense. Um, let me show you. So basically, like that's all the pieces. You got the hilt, a pummel if you had one, and this little handle, and this screw thread here. So I think this 440 did work. Now the only problem is it's very badly rusted there. And this is not ergonomically all that viable to try and get this screw or this nut to go down this 
shaft thing here kind of sits there. That's certainly better than a metric screw none, or nut. None of them are fitting. So I thought, okay, I'll just keep an eye open for 440 threaded pummels. And if they happen to look like the, the one that Tazona originally had, so much the better. Never did find it. Been looking for years, pretty much since I posted that video, actually. But now we have one. And I'm going to open it up and see if it's going to work. Uh, I did ask the guy, will that fit? And he didn't seem to be very confident, but you know, let's find out. Okay. Oh, oh, I say, he's even got a little black velvet bag. That's nice of him. Nothing else in there. Wow, this is super fancy for what I thought would just be a little piece of a replacement. Now the good-ish news is, if I can figure out how to open this, the good-ish news is the guy does actually sell this piece as well in the same brass. So if I really want to go that far down this path of res restoration, I can get a brass thing that looks the same. Will it all fit though is a big question. First of all, how does this pummel look? And more importantly, how does it fit? Ooh, there you go. So that is the proper Tizona Pummel. And what's kind of nice is, yeah, it's way more brassy. Well, you know, hmm, hang on in a sec. What's really nice is it does have a thread. Cool. This might just work. Um, this is actually much heavier than the pummel that my original sword had. I mean, this is very lightweight brass and stuff. It's just for hanging on a, on a fireplace or something. Um, but this is pretty weighty. And again, luckily, this does match. This is Tizona's uh, pummel. So, uh, first of all, let's do a color match. Now, the lighting in here, I tried to keep it moody and stuff. Um, it doesn't really, like this brass has turned almost green since the 80s. So, it's not very close in color. I don't know, may or may not work. We'll see. As I say, the guy does sell this piece. But it's kind of pricey, and I don't know if this is all going to work. So the moment of truth is going to be, does this thing screw on here? Drum roll, please. You know, it's, oh my, oh my God. It fits. Holy shoot. Wow. I mean, I could tighten it more, but I'm, I'm not going to push my luck right now. It fits. It actually fits on there. I'm surprised. Wow. Okay, let's try another turn because it'd be really nice if I could just tighten it and get it back to its original. Well, you know, it needs to tighten a bit more than that, actually. Oh, this is great news because I was thinking if this doesn't fit, what am I going to do? Epoxy it on there? And I could. God knows I've been using epoxy a lot lately. That's pretty close. It's still a bit loose. All right. I don't know if I want to push it too far, though. Like, seriously, nothing has sat on this shaft in years. Um, you know what? I might just get a, a, a washer or something, because that's pretty close. And... It's, yeah, it's it's almost there. I, I'm a little reluctant. Um, the threading inside there, the threading on this stuff, it's kind of soft now from all the years. And I just, ooh, I just want this thing to be there to make it whole again. And that's, you know, that's I'm really impressed. That's really close. So, okay, can I take it off again? If nothing else, this should be nicely giving the threading some work. Doesn't look like it's coming off, but it is. The hilt is getting looser and looser. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm so pleased. That's great. Yeah, okay. So uh, I'm gonna get a washer in here and just, oh, that is, that is great news. That is really, really nice news. Thank goodness. Yeah, money well spent. Okay, so I'm gonna get a washer. And what I'll do is I'll actually improve the lighting in here so you can see just how mismatched this brass is. But honestly, you know, if I clean that up, this might be close enough. We'll see. 
Okay, here we are in a better lit room. Uh, from this angle, it looks like a glaring change or difference between that brass and this brass, but it's not too bad, actually. And maybe if I get some Brasso, clean this guy up, um, it might be all right. Let me just lift the camera up a bit so you can see. Like, it's not, it's not too far off, really. I think that might, I mean, it's a decorative piece. It's just gonna hang on a wall. In the scabbard, of course. And yeah, I basically put a little um, washer in there. So now it's fairly secure or fairly solid. Like it'll, I can pick it up. It uh, doesn't, doesn't wobble. A little bit of a wobble you can hear there with, it is trying to, like it's just ever so slightly loose there, but you know what, that's, that's okay by me. And if I, uh, I don't know if we can do this properly here, but you can kind of see that they are the same on the same plane there. So yeah, there we go. Sword has been returned to its original glory. I am so pleased. And I don't think I'm gonna bother with getting this piece because honestly, that's gonna eventually tarnish. Um and I don't know that these pieces the guy sells are actually gonna fit with this sword piece. Like, is there a tiny little hole there? That type of thing. Um, and it's it's kind of more for me, this is the end of a story. Like, I finally got this thing back to its original glory with just adding a new pummel on the end. Very, very happy. All right. Well, there we go. My sword is restored. And until next time, we will see you down the rabbit hole.